going on everybody today we're gonna take a look at the nfc east who's gonna win the division nfl season is fast approaching let's do this thing okay so this division is a little wide open okay the cowboys are the favorites at plus 150 followed by washington at plus 200 the giants are at plus 325 and the philadelphia eagles are at plus 625 now what was the eagles big problem last year wasn't their front seven very very solid okay had a little bit of trouble in their secondary we know this but they had a ton of injuries, man, especially on offense, on that offensive line. They're getting a bunch of key pieces back. So Andre Dillard is back at left tackle. Uh, Brandon Brooks, one of the best guards in the NFL, is back. And Lane Johnson struggled with injuries. He is healthy. So I think the Eagles offensive line could look a lot different. And Jalen Hurts evolves. This could be a competitive team within the division. I really believe it. I'm very intrigued with Devontae Smith and Jalen Rieger, who also had injuries last year. If they can kind of turn into a one-two punch, you never know what can happen, man. I mean, these teams, they go from worst to first basically every year, right? So I'm intrigued with Philadelphia. Plus 625 in this division could offer some interesting value. I mean, I can, you know, things break right. Can Philadelphia have a winning record? I think it's possible. The Giants are at plus 325. The Giants had a 12th best defense in the league last year. Patrick Graham, defensive coordinator, did a really, really solid job. So we're not really worried about the Giants' defense. We are worried about their offense, especially their offensive line. I mean, it's been an absolute disaster. And when you, when you put Daniel Jones in there with his fumbling problems, that's a recipe for disaster. So Daniel Jones, he's yet to take the step. I mean, he's shown flashes. He gets time to throw the ball. He, he can hurt you, right? I mean, he's got arm talent, but, man, it, it seems like every time he gets hit, he fumbles. So that is a big, big problem. Andrew Thomas, left tackle, is going to have to play a lot better. Now, they acquired a bunch of receivers here, right? Kenny Galladay in free agency paid a lot to get him. Kadarius Toney uh, was drafted to go with Sterling Shepard. And, uh, and also uh, Evan Ingram tight end Evan Ingram so I mean there's like four players there that can really catch the ball for the Giants Darius Slayton Darius Slayton's very good so they got they got a bunch of guys in the skill positions Saquon Barkley's coming back healthy so if their offensive line can hold up and Daniel Jones can somehow hold on to the ball every time he gets sacked I think the Giants could also compete so they are a plus 325 I think they offer interesting value so Washington at plus 200 um, first, I want to talk about the Cowboys. Okay, so the Cowboys are plus 150. Now, the Cowboys last year were the second worst team in the NFL against the run. They had problems on, on, on in the interior of their defensive line. They couldn't really rush the quarterback. Uh, uh, Lawrence led the team with six and a half sacks. They had tons of problems at the linebacker positions. Leighton Van Der Esch, Jalen Smith, they didn't play well in their secondary is going through a lot of changes. So I am very worried about the Cowboys defense. I really am. Okay, so they picked up Micah Parsons, man, in the draft. I mean, this kid, he's he's going to have to be the real deal. And he's very fast, right? I mean, he goes sideline to sideline, best best linebacker in the draft, sideline to sideline. So I'm, I'm intrigued by him. But I think there's just a bunch of question marks. Not too many question marks on offense. Offensive line, Everybody was hurt last year. Everybody's healthy this year, right? Smith, left tackle. Collins, right tackle. Martin, guard. I mean, it's a pretty solid group. So I think Ezekiel Elliott gets back to his normal self. I love the wide receiver room. Obviously, Dak Prescott's a very good quarterback. I think this team has potential to lead the NFL in yards like they did, right, a couple years back. I, I, I really do. But I'm very worried about their defense, and that's why I think that Washington at plus 200 – wins the division, right? Washington last year had the second best defense against the pass. Now they got Jamin Davis, linebacker out of Kentucky, very fast, very interesting player. I think he helps that group a lot. They're secondary, especially at safety, they're set. And in at cornerback, now they got William Jackson, good player to go with Kendall Fuller. I mean, you're talking about a good group, especially when you take in consideration that Ron Rivera is the coach, he's a defensive-minded coach, seems like everywhere he goes, he's got some pretty good defenses, right? And the defensive line, I mean, we're talking about um, Chase going in a year two. He, he was a force last year. Montez Sweat, good player. And we know Jonathan Allen and Ron Payne are both good players also. So their defensive line is very, very strong. 
And on offense, man, I really like Ryan Fitzpatrick. I really do. And their offensive line was solid. But even when there's some leaks, Ryan Fitzpatrick, is, he, he's got good pocket presence. I think he's still playing at a very good level. Did so the last couple years in Miami. And he's got some pieces on offense too, man. He's got some pieces on offense, right? Terry McLaur McLaurin is a very good receiver. Uh, now you got Curtis Samuel in there. I mean, you, you got some pieces. So uh, Logan Thomas was one of the best tight ends catching the ball in the NFL last year. So I look at Washington offensively and defensively, and I really think that they are the most complete team in this division. That's why I'm going to go with the, with, the, with the Washington football team to win the division at plus 200. We shall see what happens. And for everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to oddshark.com. Bye-bye.